Hello there, welcome to the Health Education Channel. Today we're touching on the top 10 strangest medical condition caught in camera. Brace yourself. At number 10, we have Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. You heard it right, it's called Alice in Wonderland based on that story. Here's a video of what it looks like made by somebody on TikTok. This condition was first described in 1955, but it likely existed much longer prior to that, just undocumented. In this condition, it feels like objects are growing or shrinking, your body parts are distorted, there's dizziness and difficulty judging distances. There's no particular treatment for this, and usually it resolves on its own, but medications and therapy might help manage some symptoms. At number 9, we have werewolf syndrome. This is traced all the way back to the Middle Ages, with documented cases throughout history. Here's a video of a child with this werewolf syndrome. In this syndrome, there's excessive hair growth all over the body, including the face, ears, and limbs, giving you an appearance of a werewolf. Treatment include laser hair removals, electrolysis, and medications to help manage hormonal imbalances. At number 8, we have progeria, the disease made famous by the movie Curious Case of Benjamin Button by Brad Pitt. Here's a video of what it looks like. Patients with progeria appear to rapidly age, have wrinkled skin, hair loss, stunted growth, and bone abnormalities, appearing like they're aging backwards, like in the movie. There is no particular cure for progeria, mostly supportive care, focusing on managing symptoms and improving quality of life. Number seven is water allergy, or aquagenic urticaria. This is, as the name suggests, Patients are allergic to water, and it is a very debilitating condition, as you can imagine. Here's a video of what it looks like. Wait. This condition was discovered in 1960, and it still remains as a very rare and poorly understood condition. You get hives, itching, burning, swelling, and even anaphylactic shock upon contact with water, including sweat or tears. So these patients can't shower. It's absolutely horrible. Treatment, there's no good treatment for it. You can only avoid water contact use medications to manage allergies, and try to desensitize therapy in some cases. Number six is a condition called pica. Here's a video of a patient with it. Party if I get the, perks. the person in the video was eating a lot of ice. Now pica is involved with eating a lot of non-food items, strange things as benign as ice, and more toxic things like drywall. Now identifying and addressing the underlying cause, which could be anemia or nutrition deficiencies, or sometimes mental health issues, would be important and treating them with behavioral therapy and medications would be most helpful. At number five, we have a very strange condition. At first glance, you might think this might be a blessing, but really it is a curse. Here's a video of somebody with it. This is a condition called persistent genital arousal disorder or persistent sexual arousal syndrome, where you get a lot of unwanted and persistent genital arousal with or without orgasm. And that is all without sexual desire, stimulation, and it causes a lot of distress and discomfort. Treatment involves therapy, medication, nerve blocks, and sometimes surgical options just because of how debilitating it is. At number four, we have one of the deadliest conditions in third world countries. Here's a video of one of the classic symptoms. This is a symptom called hydrophobia or a fear of water. It is a late stage symptom of rabies, a condition that is spread from animal bite. Once the symptoms occur, it's almost always fatal. The only way we can prevent this is through vaccinations and avoiding animal bites. There's no cure, so we must be very careful. At number three, we have stone man disease. Here's a video of somebody with this disease. Stone man syndrome or fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva is an extremely rare, almost one in two million genetic disorder characterized by ossifications or turning into bone of skeletal and connective tissues. It causes progressive and eventual fusion of your spine and your joints, so you become extremely stiff. There's no cure for it, but surgery and physical therapy might delay progression by a little bit. It is a devastating condition. At number two, we have alien hand syndrome. As the name suggests, it's where one hand acts independently and even against the person's will. Here's a video of it. This video, although I'm not sure if it's real or not, shows an aspect of the disease where the hand is grasping things or performing unwanted gestures. 
There's no good treatment for this condition, and we're not really sure exactly what the cause is. It is thought that it's perhaps due to lesions to the corpus callosum, which is a part of the brain that connects the two brains, or the parietal lobe. Now there's therapy to retrain brain-hand coordination that could be helpful, or Botox injections or surgeries to sever nerve connections to avoid unwanted muscle movements. And at number one, we have methemoglobinemia. Have you seen people turning blue? Well, here's a video of it. Got her? I got her. Could be methemoglobinemia. Okay, put her on the CO oximeter. Med hemoglobin levels are 60%. 61, climbing. Anything over 70 can be deadly. Patients with methemoglobinemia, their skin turned blue, their blood turns brown, they're fatigued, they're short of breath. And the reason is methemoglobin actually reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of your hemoglobin. And by doing so, you're not getting the oxygen in your blood, so you become cyanosed. In treatment, saturate yourself with oxygen. So give lots of oxygen and use medications to convert methemoglobin back to hemoglobin. And that's it. Top 10 strange conditions caught on camera. Subscribe for more.